Happy Thursday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, January 28th, Thursday. It is also a full moon in Leo today. Um, make sure to check out my full moon reading, which is going to be next. And also tonight, I will be posting February 2021 monthly reading, so you can check those out on YouTube as well. Okay, so this is a pick a card reading. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. And January 28th, birthdays, we will do your reading next. So let's, if you pick card number one for January 28th, Monday, uh, Thursday, you have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Four of Pentacles here, I do feel that this is um, a time where we're kind of in our heads a little. Okay, you could be. Um, you may feel a little, I don't know, it's almost a, a sense of isolation past, uh, like, like you're left out, passed over, um, maybe your own requirements may appear to feel a little limited, separated from where the rest of everybody else is. It's a sense of isolation, okay? Loneliness, it could be here, but it's just a short thing, okay? Um, you could be just holding on to energy a little t tightly, but this is making also sound financial decisions, um, there is a concern or some kind of, um, energy when it comes to money. Um, I do feel too that, um, I give things some time. Um, I feel, I feel there'll be more clarity and some wisdom, uh, coming in today to maybe be warned about people in your surroundings, you know, hold on to your stuff because maybe some people are asking too much from you is what I'm feeling as well. If you pick card number two for January 28th, Thursday, today is a major arcana. You have the Hierophant. Today, I feel manifestation is very high for you. Uh, this is a day to commit to whatever you've been, your goals, um, what you've been wanting to do is what I'm feeling here too. This is a uh, appreciation of ideas, thoughts. Um, I do feel that there, it's easy for you to love. There's a lot of compassionate energy today and that you value what life is offering you. Okay. There's a sense of unity here too. Uh, renewed sets, set of values is coming up too. So I do feel that too. It's not the clearest of times either. There's like a foggy type of thinking. Um, just, um, you can plan and have ideas, but there's a sense of a lot of mental pressure. All right. So I do feel that too. Uh, manifestation is very high. Paying attention to your in uh, intuition could be dwelling to spirituality or also this is um, dealing with a group of people. Things don't always turn out the way you, th you thought. It probably is, <clears throat> excuse me, better. I do feel this as a day that maybe you can make some kind of verbal or um, official commitments. Maybe you're signing some kind of contract document or, or something that's legal. Um, that's another thing I feel that you can be dealing with. Also, it is a time to be patient. Manifestation comes. Okay, so I do um, feel patience is needed. If you pick card number three for January 28th, um, Thursday, <laughs> you have the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is a time where I feel a union um, of two people is uh, pleasing. This is like um, a good friend, a good conversation. It can be love. Sometimes it's just enjoying a good, uh, reading a good book uh, with someone, discussions, um, appreciating um, good communications and ideas with others today too. Um, I do feel also this is... Uh, forming some kind of a partnership, okay? So there is a sense of two people coming together. Um, I feel the energy of a Gemini. Um, this is a time also where I feel you may be making some plans. This could be future plans, maybe summer plans, things like that. Uh, be kind to yourself. Talk nice to yourself as well as what I'm feeling here um, as well. So it is a strong energy um, of communication. Okay, so when we pull this together, Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, which trumps the reading, manifestation is very high, and the Two of Cups. Um, I definitely feel that um, we are making some kind of plans, okay? We do have to um, allow things to manifest, give it to the universe. 
Um, I feel there's a sense of rebirthing today as well. Some of us may be dealing with a child I'm picking up. I don't know why I do. Um, this is a time where we're feeling better, more confident as well. And yes, you do have a yes here. I'm getting what you do want um, and desire. It's right there, but it's a lot of things are on divine timing. I do feel also here that um, someone maybe that you've been waiting for to hear from me is very possible too. This someone that you know, maybe you've been waiting to hear from them. So I do feel that energy. And there's a strong yes here. There's a yes answer to some things for someone out there, okay? All right, so that is the reading for today, January 28th, Thursday, full moon in Leo. Check that video out next. Um, and I will be posting monthlies, February 2021 monthlies tonight. Have a wonderful day. And now we move to January 28th, babies. Happy birthday if you're born today, January 28th, or if you know someone born today, January 28th. I do offer many types of birthday readings. People ask me that all the time. It's on my website, even something similar to this. This is a quick uh, reading for your, um, what was I going to say, for your solar year and your wish card. So, okay. All right, so the theme of the year, and that doesn't mean that the whole year is going to be like this, but there's a lot of energies that is coming through here. And remember, it is a very, very general reading. This is a year of also taking care of um, any kind of stress, uh, watch your health and well-being, if you're suffering from headaches, get the more rest that you need. There is a sense of you're dwelling on some kind of regrets, okay? But there is something you can do about it. I feel communication is important in reaching out, okay? Breaking free of something is very important, too. I do feel for some of you, you may have some ideas, uh, worries about job or wanting to start something. Could be even money, property matters, whatever it is. Um, there is an ending here, okay? There's something new. There's a change of direction, okay? There is a sense of being more self-reliant, uh, breaking free. There's a sense of you needing some kind of freedom in some kind of situation in your life. But communication is going to be key, okay? So I do feel that energy. When it comes to work, career, or school, I do feel there is a reason why it's, um, I feel there's a slowdown. There is something that you're going to have to give up to be able to manage, so you're going to have to prioritize your time. Um, this is like, um, I don't know, feeling stuck, or maybe you're not moving forward as, you, as you'd as you like in a job with a promotion, whatever it is, but you will get some ideas, okay? And there is something that you maybe have to prioritize or give up to be able to gain something is what I'm feeling. There's a sense of putting some sacrificial energies and ego aside as well. When it comes to finances, I do feel a lot of you may be um, investing in people from the past. Um, this is um, maybe people that borrowed money from you and you're trying to get money back. Uh, some of you may be investing a lot of time in um, a lot of uh, money with uh, children is what I'm picking up. A lot of you will be also... Um, um, dealing with finances from the past. Something from the past is coming that needs to be settled. Either it's debts um, or it's um, something that's been of value, money that's been sitting. I do feel that energy. I do feel people from the past or past money is going to come into play somehow. When it comes to love, if you are single, um, this is a time to really refute the past to know um, these are lessons learned while you've been dating, whatever I, I want to say, um, however that works out for you. But I do feel that some of you, it's uh, a new relationship is coming through. Be careful of, of a third party involvement or baggage in a relationship, okay? Um, moving forward and knowing that things do take time in a relationship, you got to give things a chance. When it comes to relationships, if you're already in a relationship, I feel you do really have to review the past to see why um, there's been some maybe conflicts. I do see that there is um, uh, learning, teaching, learning, le learned lessons and moving forward. Someone has to reach out and um, offer a, a compromise is what I feel. Uh, for others of you, this is just a very creative time and creative solutions with relationships. All relationships... There is something that maybe you have someone from the past that you had a fallout with um, that maybe you need to reach out to and set yourself free somehow. I do feel that 
Um, there's a lot of lessons learned. So reviewing why you got to where you are with maybe there's been a conflict and trying to see the other person's uh, side or where mistakes went, they can be um, rectified. I see some resolutions. For all relationships, it's moving forward. Um, there could be at least three new people that are going to be coming in and they, uh, uh, there is a lot of thoughts on, um, and talk in relationships this year. <laughs> it's very complicated what I'm picking up here. Okay. All right. Um, you solar your wish. You have the lover's card, a major arcana. What I feel here for some of you, I don't know why. You're going to have to make a decision and travel is involved. Um, it's going to be, yes, you've got to make a choice and um, that will help bring this uh, wish to fruition. For others of you, I do see a yes answer. And you have to let go of some kind of fear and some kind of worry, okay? The important numbers for your solar year are 9, 10, 2, 1, and 3. I hope you have, oh, and six is what I'm picking up. I hope you have a wonderful birthday today and a wonderful solar year ahead. And everyone else, a wonderful um, Thursday. And check out the new moon readings. And that's about it. Bye for now.